everyone. It's Miss Sutherland's face upside down. <laughs> okay, um, we are going to learn about Music Prodigy. So, if you have a device that is an i device and you went to the App Store, this is what Music Prodigy looks like. If you have a device that's not an i device but it has apps, I think Music Prodigy probably looks the same. So. Download Music Prodigy from whatever store gives you apps, and once you've done that, click it to open it. We are going to, there we go, we are going to create an account because you probably don't have one. I have, uh, I think, three accounts, unfortunately, that I've created because I've done so many in class, I've shown so many people how to do this, so I decided I should probably make a video because I'm running out of email addresses. Anyway, so first name, last name, and then email address. Let's see if I have any left. Not sure. Oops, that's not right. Oops, that goes so wrong. Make sure that when you type in your email address, you type it in correctly. This actually becomes your login. So if you log in from a device that is not your normal device, like if you borrow an iPad, I'm going to make my password Hoover's. So if you borrow an iPad, make sure you know what your login is, your email address, and your password is. Apparently my passwords don't match with my passwords. Okay, there we go. Now, select account type. You are a student. If you select teacher, unfortunately, they're going to ask you to pay them. Uh, you probably don't want to pay them, so don't. Keep me informed. You don't need to do that. Now click create account. Hopefully my email address, oh, email address already taken. Oh no, I'll use a different one. It's literally almost the same email address. At mail.umkc. I think they'll think it's a different one. Let's see. So hopefully that didn't happen to you. And we are creating account, student account, student, student account. Let's see what happens. Look at that, it worked. Okay. Now, is that coming on your screen? I'm so sorry about that. Stop, I have rehearsal, I know. Okay, now, uh, select your level. Elementary school, senior high school, a hobbyist, a singer. No, you're a middle schooler. And you're in choir or voice class. For instruments, sixth graders are going to choose either soprano, high voice, or alto, low voice. Um, seventh or eighth graders, you can choose soprano, alto, tenor, or bass. You should know which one you um, think you are. In seventh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, guys, your voice is not actually fully what it's going to be. So Miss Sutherland is an alto, but Miss Sutherland can literally sing any part, okay? So as a sixth, seventh, or eighth grader, you're not necessarily a soprano, an alto, a tenor, or a bass. You're just a middle school singer. I'm going to choose alto. You can choose whatever. It's not really going to change any of the examples. Okay. Music Prodigy Classroom is every music student's best practice companion providing real-time feedback and automatically tracking progress. Practice on your own. You can do this at home. You can do this in the car. You can do this, I don't know, anywhere. See the results and share with your teacher. Real-time feedback helps you know how well you are performing. Immediate feedback is shown to accelerate learning music five times faster. Okay, so when we get to Music Prodigy, when it opens, you are not yet in a class. This sample songs thing, I don't know what it is. We don't need it. It's not for us. So you're not yet in a class. So your page should look like this. We are looking to add a class. So this red button in the bottom right hand screen is where you're going to add your class. The class codes are at the front of the room. Right now I'm going to join class 3A. But you guys have specific classes you need to be in. Do not join the wrong class because then I'm going to not know when I go into grade things. Um, I'm not going to know, you're not going to show up on the grade book. So make sure you join whichever class you're in. 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B. Okay, so now I'm in 3A choir. And I'm going to have some assignments now. So if I click on 3A choir, it says I have 71 songs. Oh my goodness, Miss Sutherland. 
And those songs are under homework assignments. Okay. I'm going to click on that. And you guys are going to do numbers one and two by the end of next week. So by the end of, well, I need it by Thursday the 13th. Okay, so everybody has number one and number two due by Thursday the 13th. Hopefully you can get it done today in class. So we're going to practice number one together. Or you're going to at least see me go through it. Um, very important, guys. Lots of stuff on this page to read. Most important thing, assessment is what you have to be on for me to see the grade. Practice is something you should do when you haven't yet sung it. Have I sung this yet today? No. So I'm going to click practice to go through it for the first time. Over here you have beats per minute at 80. That's what it is during the assessment. That means it's going 80 beats per minute. So it's going moderately fast. I'm going to slow it down a bit um, right now and just move that little dial over so that when I practice it this time, I am going at a slower pace. But just remember, guys, with practice, this does not give you a grade that Ms. Sutherland can see. It's going to give you a grade so you know how well you did, but Ms. Sutherland does not see the grade when you do practice. So make sure if you're wanting to turn something in, it's under assessment. Okay, let's try it together. One thing that's going to happen is it's going to play a pitch. You have to have your sound turned up. So I'm going to double check my sound is turned up. You have to have that sound turned up and you need to listen to it, and that's the pitch you have to sing. Okay, here we go. Do you hear that pitch? That's what I have to sing. Now it's counting me in. Ready? Go. Do, re, do, re, mi, mi, re, mi, mi, re, re, do. Notice that I got all green notes, and now they're red because I'm not actually singing the right notes right now, right? I wasn't singing at all. So I got a 13 out of 19 on that one. I have the option of starting over, of saving it. But remember, in a practice, when you save it, Miss Sutherland doesn't see it. I don't get to know how well you did on the practices. I have to know the assessments, or you can discard it. I'm actually going to just start over, and this time I'm going to do it on assessment mode. So I'm ready. I did my practice. I feel pretty good. You guys have 10 times that you can do the assessment. I set the, the um, guy up so that you can try your assessment mode 10 different times. So if you bomb it the first five times, that's okay, but I would suggest maybe practicing a few times before doing it again. You have 10 times that you can do your assessment. Okay, we got to listen for that pitch at the beginning and then get ready to sing. You hear it? Ready? Do, re, do, re, mi, mi, re, mi, mi, re, re, do, re, re, do, 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 do. Oh, that's a long one. That's hard to believe. All right, I feel pretty good about my score, so I'm going to save it. Wait! It's very important, guys. When I click save, when I click save, I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to wait for the screen to go white. The whole screen is going to go white, and that's how I know it's saved. So I'm going to click Save Score. It's going to take me back to the beginning, and if you touch the screen, it won't work. So wait for the screen to go white. Are you ready? Here we go. Notice it's not white. This is still not white, right? Now it's white! Whole screen is white. Here we go. Yes, that's exactly what we want. So notice that I have a green circle. Filled in green circle. It's 12.07 p.m. on October 5th. Miss Sutherland can see all of this. And I can click on this report and look at how well I did on my notes or look at which notes I maybe missed up. Apparently it's not going to happen right now, though. <laughs> I also, on my end, on Miss Sutherland's end, I can listen to it. Oh, there we go. There's our report. It took it a moment to generate, but that's okay. So you'll notice that all of those notes were correct, okay? I can also listen to them on my end, okay? So you have homework assignment number one and number two. Let's make sure Miss Sutherland needs to check her list and make sure that she talked about all the things she needed to talk about. So let's go over to her list. Very important stuff here. 
Okay, assessment. Remember, you need to be on assessment mode. Pitch. Remember, you have to play that pitch at the beginning, and you actually have to sing the pitch or you'll be wrong. White screen. You need to wait for the screen to go white after you save it, or it won't save. After you save it, make sure you have a green circle. That means Ms. Sutherland can hear it. And then, of course, all of the homework assignments are in that folder. Remember this folder, homework assignments for s cubed middle school choir. Let's go back to 3A. That one right there, homework assessments or homework assignments, sorry. Okay, so hopefully you guys are ready to give it a try. Here is Music Prodigy. Good luck. Numbers 1 and 2 are due next Thursday, October 13th. Peace.